Welcome to Laser Quantum Therapy. In this episode, we'll learn why laser meridian therapy can be as effective as traditional needle acupuncture. Hi, my name is Ron Henry. I'm a chiropractor, acupuncturist, and naturopath. Acupuncture without needles was already practiced in classical Chinese medicine more than a thousand years ago. With the use of Te Shin, which was used for tapping a point, or with Moxa, that was used for heating a point with the herb. But therapeutic lasers were only invented less than 50 or 60 years ago. And they're a new concept in contemporary treatment of the meridians. As practitioners, we all know that many points can be uncomfortable when they're treated with needles. And this is especially true in sensitive patients. And for any of us who have observed some of our patients' reactions to acupuncture, simply having one more option to this classical needle approach will help expand our ability to help patients and to appreciate the simplicity, the elegance, and the effectiveness of this beautiful method in clinical practice. Lasers offer a convenient alternative for treating not only points found more deeply in the body, but also those found near major blood vessels, nerves and internal organs, and certainly other sensitive structures of the body as well. Gerhard Lichter at the Medical University of Graz, Austria, has been researching the effects of laser acupuncture using various forms of scientific evaluation. And these methods include ultrasound, something called infrared thermography, measuring the temperature of the body, magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, and bioelectric methods, which measure electrical conductivity of different areas of the body as well. Using lasers of only 100 milliwatts, which is a fairly low power. He's been able to produce the same symptoms of classical Tai Chi, believed to be essential in traditional Chinese medicine to elicit a healing response. His research has shown that needle acupuncture, electrical stimulation, and laser therapy can all three induce similar effects in the body. This is true both in the brain and in the peripheral system as well, such as the extremities. Even though the actual means of stimulation for all three of these is very different, he's also been able to correlate regions of the brain associated with hearing and sight, sensory, motor, and what we call awareness or cognitive functions to actually be associated with specific acupuncture points stimulated with laser. His book, High Tech Acupuncture and Integrative Laser Medicine, describes his own research and findings. So what is the difference between laser and needle therapy? Well, generally, the same points are treated with laser as with needles. But unlike traditional acupuncture, the laser approach is going to vary a lot depending on the type and the number of lasers that are available to the practitioner during a session. So the practitioner working with a single laser is obviously limited to treating just one point at a time. While a 12 diode fiber optic light needle, such as we use from Germany, offers the advantage of being able to treat many points simultaneously. And this more closely matches traditional needle acupuncture. Laser also offers, however, biocompatible photon energy, which can then be distributed throughout the entire network of the meridian system. This comes from bios, which means life, 
and photon, which are packets of energy or light. And unlike needle therapy, where the initial neurological and the energetic sensations that are produced by needles will be strong at first, but then gradually become less pronounced over time. With laser stimulation, it will start out more gently, but it can develop a big and strong momentum that sometimes needles may not be able to achieve. Learn more at laserquantumtherapy.com and to purchase our books, go to Amazon.com.